Australia's defense landscape is evolving rapidly in response to the growing threat of armed drones, which have transformed modern warfare with their precision and accessibility. The Australian Defence Force has prioritised upgrading its fleet of Bushmaster Protected Mobility Vehicles, a linchpin of its land forces, to counter this challenge. These upgrades, led by Thales Australia, the vehicle's manufacturer, are informed by critical lessons from the conflict in Ukraine, where Bushmasters have faced the lethal reality of unmanned aerial systems. The Bushmaster, celebrated for its V-shaped hull and proven resilience against improvised explosive devices, has been a cornerstone of the ADF's ground operations. However, the proliferation of armed drones, as demonstrated in Ukraine, has exposed vulnerabilities that demand a significant overhaul. The upgrades focus on integrating advanced counter-drone technologies to neutralize threats like loitering munitions and first-person view drones. While operational security limits detailed disclosures, the enhancements likely include a sophisticated suite of electronic warfare capabilities, such as radio frequency jammers to disrupt drone control signals and GPS spoofers to mislead navigation systems. Advanced sensor packages, potentially incorporating compact radar systems or electro-optical infrared cameras, enable early detection of small, low-flying drones. There is also speculation about kinetic countermeasures, such as lightweight autocannons or emerging directed energy weapons like lasers, which are increasingly viable for engaging small UAS. These additions transform the Bushmaster from a passive survivor into an active defender, capable of countering aerial threats in real time, while maintaining its role as a troop transport and reconnaissance platform. The impetus for these upgrades stems from battlefield feedback from Ukraine, where Australia has supplied over 100 Bushmasters since 2022 to support Kyiv's defense efforts. Ukrainian forces have lauded the vehicle's durability, but flagged its vulnerability to drone strikes, which have become a dominant feature of the conflict. Thales Australia has harnessed this real-world data to tailor the Bushmasters' upgrades ensuring they address the specific tactics of drone warfare, such as swarm attacks and precision strikes. Modularity is a cornerstone of this modernization effort. By incorporating swappable sensor and weapon modules, the Bushmaster can be customized for diverse missions, from counterinsurgency to high-intensity conflict. This modular design not only enhances operational flexibility, but also allows for rapid integration of future technologies such as artificial intelligence-driven threat detection or next-generation countermeasures, ensuring the vehicle remains relevant as drone technology evolves. Beyond counter-drone capabilities, the upgrades bolster the Bushmaster's overall survivability. Enhanced armor plating, potentially incorporating composite materials, improves resistance to missile and shrapnel threats, while advanced electronic countermeasures protect against guided munitions. These improvements align with Australia's strategic priorities in the Indo-Pacific, where regional tensions, particularly with China over maritime disputes and influence in the South Pacific, underscore the need for robust, multi-domain capabilities. The proliferation of drones among state and non-state actors, including China's advanced UAS programs, has heightened the urgency of these upgrades. The ADF's focus on countering asymmetric threats reflects a broader shift toward hybrid warfare preparedness, where traditional platforms like the Bushmaster must adapt to unconventional challenges. Moreover, the upgraded Bushmaster strengthens Australia's defense export market. With the vehicle already in service with nations like Ukraine, the Netherlands and Japan, its enhanced capabilities enhance its appeal as a reliable, battle-tested platform, boosting Australia's defence industry on the global stage. The upgrades also address logistical and operational challenges. Integrating complex counter-drone systems requires balancing weight, power, and crew workload. Thales Australia has reportedly optimised these systems to maintain the Bushmaster's mobility and endurance, ensuring it remains deployable in austere environments. However, challenges persist, 
The lack of detailed public information about the specific technologies, such as the range of jammers or the power output of potential laser systems, limits external assessment of their effectiveness. Deployment timelines remain unclear, with trials likely ongoing or recently completed as of early 2025. Cost is another concern, as retrofitting a large fleet with advanced systems could strain defense budgets, particularly amid competing priorities like naval modernization and cyber defense. Critics argue that Australia's focus on upgrading legacy platforms like the Bushmaster risks diverting resources from emerging domains like artificial intelligence, hypersonics, or space-based systems, which are critical to future conflicts. The broader implications of these upgrades extend beyond the battlefield. By equipping the Bushmaster with cutting-edge counter-drone technology, Australia reinforces its commitment to supporting allies like Ukraine, where the vehicle's performance informs global perceptions of its reliability. The upgrades also signal Australia's intent to maintain a technological edge in the Indo-Pacific, where drone warfare is expected to play an increasingly prominent role. Partnerships with allies, such as the UK's collaboration on next-generation weapon systems, could further enhance the Bushmaster's capabilities, potentially integrating shared technologies like low-cost seekers or advanced guidance systems. However, the ADF must navigate the delicate balance of investing in proven platforms while preparing for disruptive technologies that could redefine warfare. In conclusion, Australia's upgrades to the Bushmaster represent a strategic response to the evolving threat of armed drones, ensuring the vehicle remains a vital asset in modern combat. By integrating advanced counter-drone technologies, enhancing survivability, and prioritizing modularity, the ADF is positioning the Bushmaster to meet the challenges of hybrid warfare. These enhancements not only bolster Australia's defense capabilities, but also reinforce its role as a global security partner, particularly through its support for Ukraine. As the Indo-Pacific grows more contested, the upgraded Bushmaster underscores Australia's commitment to adaptability and resilience, preparing its forces for the complexities of 21st century conflict.